Today we are going to tackle one of the most essential building blocks in our arsenal of rope dart moves, the elbow spin. I especially like to use elbow spins between moves because they help me collect the extra rope after a long shot or wrap. This video will teach the elbow spin using our lead elbow and will transition from wall plane to wheel plane. Please make sure to check out other videos teaching this move as there are different variations and schools of thought on it and you might have a different learning style from me. I will be breaking down the elbow spin into a series of steps because I found this method most effective when learning it myself. So, let's get started on learning how to do it. First, let's step into wall plane. We start by gripping our rope at this length. The rope should be long enough that if we brought our lead hand to our hip, the dart would touch the ground. We then pull our lead hand up to our chest. The anchor hand gathers the extra rope. Now, we start spinning the rope dart in a circle. If our lead hand is our right hand, we will be spinning clockwise. If our lead hand is our left hand, counterclockwise. Okay, now we will break down our movement into lower body and upper body. Then we will combine them. First, let's go over our footwork. Our lead foot will be stepping from wall plane into wheel plane and ending behind us. Our anchor foot will pivot 90 degrees. In this case, my lead foot is my right foot, so I'm pivoting clockwise. If your lead foot is your left foot, pivot counterclockwise. If you are a beginner, make sure to practice this footwork by itself. Meanwhile, our upper body will bring our wrist to our armpit while still holding onto the rope. The rope should make contact with our upper tricep slash lower deltoid. We will then point our elbow in front of us and keep our arm bent so that our hand stays near our armpit. We then trace a circle with our elbow that ends when our elbow reaches our rib cage and points at the ground. Now we combine our upper body and our lower body's movements. Once you get comfortable with this step, try going directly from your original spin into the move. Once you have practiced this move and feel comfortable with it, start looking for other moves that flow into it or out of it. Here is an example of a sequence that includes an elbow spin as well as two moves from my other tutorials. For advanced students, here are a couple more tips about the elbow spin as a transition move. Number one, I have noticed that I like to wind up when executing an elbow spin. This means that I actually trace part of a circle with my elbow before even allowing the rope dart to make contact with my tricep. I feel that exaggerating the circle can add some power to this move, even though it's not necessary. I feel that the larger my circle is, the more rope I am able to collect. I definitely think that it makes my flow look and feel more graceful. Number two, I like to use the elbow spin to recuperate extra rope, or slack, after a long shot. If I execute a shot that lets out all of my rope, I often find it difficult to get it all back quickly enough. My favorite way of doing this is to pull my anchor hand back hard. That yanks a lot of the slack back. But often, I still have a lot of extra rope that I need to recuperate. So, to bring the rest in, I use an elbow spin to sort of crank it back in. Now the dart is much closer to my body than it would have been if I had pulled back without the elbow spin. 
The more I practice, the more I can rely on my strength of my anchor hand to pull back extra rope. But I still think that sometimes I need to use this combo to regain control of all the slack that I've let out from a long shot. Okay, those are all my thoughts on the importance of an elbow spin. Although simple, it has proven to be an essential transition move, and I have noticed over the years that I use it more frequently than any other move I know. The Rope Dart Academy has some great tutorials on doing elbow spins on the anchor side of our body, as well as elbow spins that transition from wheel plane to wall plane. All the links are in the description. Good luck!